Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about binary search. We are going to see what is a binary search and an algorithm using which the binary search technique can be explained and a Java program in BlueJ. So before going to the algorithm, we are going to see what are the points to be noted in binary search. Binary search can be applied only for the sorted array. That is a very important point. Okay. Uh, if the array is not in sorted order, then you cannot use binary search. So we will come to know once we know the algorithm that the binary search technique. Okay, why we say that that array should be in sorted order. Okay, so that is a very important point. Second point is the array is divided into two halves. Element may be present in the first half or second half. Okay. Uh, compared to the linear search where you search the element in sequential order that means you will go on to literally go on to all the elements but in binary search you will uh, first element will be checked okay uh, from the middle point okay that means the uh, either the element will be present in the first half or the, in the second half okay if the element is present in the first half you are going to omit the second half if the element is present in the second half, you are going to omit the first half. That means you are going to reduce to the maximum level. This process continues till the search terminates. So once you find the match or the element, you can terminate it. Or otherwise, you keep on searching for it once the criteria has been satisfied. Always compare the search element with the middle element of the array. So that midpoint, okay, the middle element is the important part in this binary search. So now you are going to see the algorithm, okay. Uh, here you can see that uh, you got uh, array elements, okay. You got some 10 numbers, okay, which is stored in an array. And then you can see the index values that is from 0 to 9. Since you have 10 numbers, you have the index values from 0 to 9. So you have something to be determined here. First thing is you should know where you are going to start from and where you are going to end. Okay, that is the first value and the last value. And also you are going to find the middle value so that you can start the search. Check whether the middle value is equal to the uh, search value. Okay, so we are going to see one by one. First you are going to fix the start value. That is the first value. Okay, we are fixing for the first time it is zero. So since the array starts from element starts from 0, you are fixing the first element as 0 and the last element as 9. So this is what you are going to do. First element and last element is fixed now. Now the search will be done in between these. Okay. So for that you need a midpoint. So how to find the midpoint is you have a formula here. Mid equal to first plus last divided by 2. So you are going to add up the value or that is index value of first and last. And then you are going to divide the value by 2, you will get a midpoint. So you can see 0 plus 9, okay, first value is 0, okay, and the last value is 9, okay. You are going to add up that and uh, you will get uh, 9, which is bit divided by 2, you will get 4.5. You are going to take the integer part and fix the midpoint as 4. So once you fix the midpoint as 4, you are going to, uh, you are get ready for uh, verifying the uh, search value. So here, uh, for example, the search value given is 65, right? Uh, sorry, 68. Now the midpoint is 4. You are going to compare the element present in that uh, midpoint 4 with the search value. So that will be the criteria given. So first criteria, okay? Check whether the search value is lesser than the mid value. So the search value is 68. And the mid value which is present is 46. So you are going to check whether the 68 is lesser than 46. This is the reason we say that uh, you can do the uh, binary search only with the sorted array, not with this unsorted array. Okay, the element should be in sorted order. Okay, now in this case it is false. Okay, so the condition is false. So what you are going to do is you will go for the second criteria. So the second criteria is check whether the search value is greater than ARR of mid. That means 68 is greater than 46. So 46 uh, obviously this is true. Okay. Now since it is true you know that it is in the second half of the okay because search value is greater than the mid value that means 68 that the value going to be searched is 
in the right and upper part of the array not in the lower part so what you are going to do next is you are going to shift the first position to uh, mid plus 1 that is it is beyond mid right it is not below mid it is after the mid value so that's the reason you are pushing the first value into okay that means you are uh, omitting one half of the array okay that means uh, it is divided into two halves you are uh, checking whether it is in the first half or the second half and you found that it is in the second half so you are omitting the first half that's what you are going to do now you are fixing the value first as 5 that is mid plus 1 okay first equal to mid plus 1 that is nothing but 5 okay and last value is the same 9 okay now you are going to uh, repeat that iteration that means you are going to start again with okay mid value finding the mid value so before that you are going to uh, disable these values that means you are not going to use this you are not going to go for search here you are going to search only between these 5 and eight, 5 and 9 okay so you are going to find the mid value for this now mid value is again the formula is same first plus last divided by 2 here it is first value is uh, first value is 5 and the last value is 9 and, and divided by 2 that is 14 divided by 2 is 7 okay so this is the mid value so you are going to pass the mid value to 7 now you got the first value, you got the last value and you found the mid value. Now you are going to check the condition. The search is lesser than error of mid. Error of mid has 79 here. Okay, check whether the uh, value, search value 68 is lesser than 79. It is true. So since it is true, what you know, come to know is it is inside the uh, mid way, that is uh, midpoint. That is uh, the midpoint is 7. The value is inside the midpoint, not outside. All right, it is not beyond the mid value so what you are going to do is you are going to push the last okay to the previous one that mid minus one okay last equal to mid minus one that is seven minus one is six now first and last has been narrowed by narrowed down so you are going to uh, disable the remaining part of the array that means you have only two numbers to be searched okay so again you are going to find the midpoint now first plus last divided by two so here the first value is five and this last value is 6 divided by 2. So 11 divided by 2 is 5. So 5.5 .5 will be taken. Uh, Indigent part will be taken. So 5 is the midpoint. So you are going to move the midpoint to uh, position 5. Okay. Now the, again you are going to check the criteria. Right. Then now the, you are checking the mid value. So you search lesser than error of mid. So error of mid has the value 51. Okay. 68 lesser than 51. The condition is false. Okay. Since the condition is false, you are going to the second condition. Check whether the search value is greater than error of mid. That is 68 is greater than 51. Yes, it is true. Okay. Now what you have to do, you are going to do the same criteria. That is, you are going to move the first value to the position. That is mid plus 1. Okay. So once it is done, you are going to check the, uh, you know the first value is in uh, position number 6. Last value is also in the position number 6. Now you are going to find the midpoint. Before that you are going to disable the position number 5 value also. You have got only one value here now. You are going to find the mid value. So first value is 6. Okay, first plus last divided by 2. That is 6 plus 6 divided by 2. You will get 6 there. So mid value is also 6. So you are going to move that mid value to 6. Now first, first last and mid all pointing to the same location. Now you are going to check the first condition. Search value is lesser than error of mid. That is 68 lesser than 68. No, it is not lesser than 68. The condition is false. So you are going to check the second condition. Search greater than error of mid. Uh, 68 is greater than uh, 68. No, it is not. So again, the condition is false. Now the third condition, that is a very important condition. You are going to check whether the search is equal to... Uh, error of mid that is 68 is equal to 68 now you found the match okay so this is how uh, the, since the condition is true you found the match this is how the uh, algorithm works okay this is the uh, binary search algorithm how it works now you are going to see uh, you are going to stop the execution of the loop okay now you are going to see how uh, the logic is used in the blue j uh, screen that is in java program so first you are going to see the loop statement so here you are not going to use for loop, you are going to use while loop. So while first lesser than or equal to last. You know that first value is 0 for the first time. Last value is 9. So it is obviously lesser than uh, 
uh, first value is lesser than the last value. 0 is lesser than the last, uh, last value that is 9. So, the condition will be true. Okay. So, you keep on executing this loop till uh, it reaches the match. Otherwise, suppose the match is not available. In one point, the first value will become greater than the last value. Then the loop will stop. So, it, otherwise, it goes on uh, executing the loop. No open curly braces. Now, first thing you what you did is you found the midpoint. So, uh, initially you fixed that first value is 0, second value, that is last value is 9. Now, you are going to find the mid value, mid equal to first plus last divided by 2. Okay. So, immediately after finding the mid value, you are going to search the first condition. If search is lesser than error of mid, okay, if it is true, okay, you are going to write last equal to mid minus 1. That is, uh, it is in the first half. Okay. So, since it is in the first half, you are going to move the last okay uh, last position before the midpoint so that is bit minus 1 okay that's the reason you put last equal to mid minus 1 if the second first condition is false it goes on to the next condition if search is greater than uh, error of mid so if it is greater than that means it in the second half so you are going to write first equal to mid mid plus 1 that means you are going to bring the first element to uh, beyond the mid right next to the mid value so mid plus 1 Suppose the second, both the condition is true, you are going to check whether the search is uh, equal to error of mid. If it is equal, then obviously you know that the result is true. Okay, you found the element. Okay, once you found the element, you have to break the uh, loop statement and then you are going to execute. That is, you are going to execute the remaining statement. So, you are going to see this in BlueJ. So, here in BlueJ, you can see uh, import java util.scanner line has been given because you are going to get the input from the user. Uh, that is a search value also you have to use a scanner uh, class to be included into the programs and then you can see the public class binary search is the class name and then you got public static void main where you're going to type the program right so uh, same like the previous examples you have seen that uh, you are already defined declared and defined the array values it is an open array so int arr of uh, open and close square bracket equal to within curly braces put all the values you got 10 values here but here you have to, you should know what is the uh, value of the array, that is the length of the array, okay, beforehand. Now in search, you got a search value. So here you are going to take the value from the user and store it. And this is the value you are going to search in the array list. And first equal to zero. This is what you already seen. You are going to fix for the first time, first equal to uh, zero. That is index value zero, last equal to nine. And midpoint for the first time, you are going to give as an initial value. That is default value, you have 0. And also, you are going to have boolean uh, result. Variable result equal to false to uh, check whether the there is a match found. If it is found, then it will turn into true. Otherwise, it will be false. So, that it will be helpful to it display the output. So, here you can see that you are going to uh, display the array element. Since you already declared it in the... Uh, defined it in the program itself. You don't know what the elements are available. So, you are just displaying the elements. So, array elements for i equal to 0, i lesser than uh, len, uh, error dot len, i plus plus. And then inside that you can see system at print, okay, and error of i. You are going to print all the elements uh, next to next. That is, you are going to print the same line. Now, you are going to enter uh, the number to be searched. So, the number to be searched should be uh, stored into the variable uh, search which will be an integer value okay sc dot next int will take the integer and then store it into search now this part you already explained okay that is a while part okay this is the logic what you're going to use okay first we less than or equal to last and then mid value to be found and if the first condition if the first condition is true last equal to mid minus one if the second condition is true first equal to mid plus one if the uh, search value is same okay that is it is found then you are going to change the result as true and then stop the iteration. Now, after the iteration is completed, you are going to check if the result is equal to true. If it is equal to true, you are going to display that the search is successful, element is found. Else, you can see that search is unsuccessful, element is not found. So, this is the program. You are going to compile this program. So, no syntax errors. So, you are going to execute the program. So, public uh, void main, click OK. Now, you can see the array elements uh, displayed on the screen. You are going to select one value. So, we select the same value which is given. So, 68 has been selected. You can see search is successful element found. We will try out with some other value. So, we will give some value which is in, uh, before the mid value. Say, I am going to give uh, 
12 again you can see search is successful okay we will give another value which is in the uh, last and check now you can see uh, say 95 okay 95 again it is true so you are going to see that search is successful and then finally I am going to give a value which is not in the list and say I am going to give 35 which is not in the list you can see search is unsuccessful element is not found. Hope you understood uh, this video. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.